Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a destination trailer. We are taking a look at a huge travel trailer, bigger than most fifth wheels, and this one actually has a kitchen bar. This is a 2021 Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage model 40CBAR for bar. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Cedar Creek and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review now about every single brand of travel trailer, fifth wheel toy hauler, and destination trailer. And today, again, I am super excited to be taking a look at one of the biggest and baddest ones, the Cedar Creek Cottage. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! Where are we at today? We are at Grizzenny's here yes. in Fort Myers, Florida. Yes. So super excited to take a look at this Cedar Creek. It's probably our first Cedar Creek on the channel, right? It is, it is. Yeah. Um, a little and bit we're of a starting, different. Yeah, and we're starting with the bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cool on the inside. I can't wait to show the inside. Yes, and if you guys are interested in this trailer, uh, we will link everything about Grizzenny's down below. We appreciate Grizzenny's. We sure do. Um, letting us record their unit. Yes. We don't work for them. them. We appreciate that. Well, let's begin. Model All right. is 40. That was a jump box. Model is 40 CBAR. The actual tip to tip length of this unit is 41 feet 10 inch. This is the, this isn't a Cedar Creek. It's a cottage by Cedar Creek. It's a destination trailer. It has a manual tongue jack. The reason why they don't want you towing this. Right. They want you to be able to get it on your truck and off your truck and then leave it stationary. Right up here is your propane tanks. And then look at this. I love this. This is not aerodynamic. This is not going to be a fun towing experience. You got these big windows here. Did you say the weight? I didn't. The okay. dry weight is 11,340 pounds. And that hitch weight's 2,141 pounds. Again. Heavy. That's crazy. There's no weight distribution bars, guys. You want this delivered if you can. Yes, you want it delivered by a, a specialty truck. You got propane tanks, propane quick connect right up there. And part of the reason why this tongue weight's so heavy, well, if you back up, this yeah. is that front living room. And there's double slide outs, which is adding a ton of weight. Yes. Very, very sure. heavy to do that. Coming on down the side here. We do have manual stabilizing jacks. I really don't have a problem with that because once you're stable and you're all hooked up, you just go zoom, 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 zoom. Yep. And you're ready to roll. Coming on down the side here, no awning right here, but you do have a power awning right there. You do have a nice glass door. And then look at what they did right there. They did a oh. Fury on camera right there. So you're able to see what's going on. Like almost like a ring doorbell type thing. Yeah, That's yeah, very cool. cool. Nice big glass door opening and everything. And then look at these steps. You know, we're, we're, we're gonna womp womp these steps. Womp yeah. womp. Um, and they are gonna be one of my dislikes, but it's also going to be one of my likes. Okay. You guys are gonna have to stick around in the video so I can tell you about that a little later. All right. Wow, check that out. A sixth stabilizing jack in the middle. Very cool. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Ridgeway Sports STs. I love those. They are the ST235-80R16 with your Dexter axles. Wow, no, I lied. Eight point stabilizing Oh, wow. Jacks. I've never seen that before. Yes, you do have prep for the Furion side cameras. Right here is where you can hook up a TV on the outside, and you got your speakers on the outside right there. Here Look at that. That door's got a peephole, too. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. I'm not... Dude, this is why I'm so excited. Um, make sure everybody joins our Patreon account. Um, and big shout out to whatever sponsors we have and big shout out to Grizzenny's and all future dealerships. We're, we're, we're trying to be independent. We can only do that with your help and to see cool, stupid stuff like that. And to be able to review each and every brand of RV is super, super nice. I love that. Coming around the back, no ladder to get up on the back. Don't worry. I don't think look up there. I don't think I would have made it anyway. <laughs> It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And then right here, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of storage, but we do not have the key. 
Oh man, look at this. Oh, Residential yeah. style, very big oversized water heater. I love that feature. All right. Finishing up, here's your city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Black tank flush. There's where you uh, dump your sewers and everything. Right here, 50 amp unit. You know you're gonna have the two AC units on the roof and everything. I can't believe it's eight point stabilizing. I know, that's crazy. It is, it is. And then I don't think there's anything else. Let's see. No, that's it. Okay. Well, well, the outside of this uh, Destination trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right, I guess we'll start up front here. You got your living area here. The TV and then your kitchen, nice island. Kitchen in the middle, here's your bar area. Oh, man. Then coming back towards the back. You got your bathroom right here. And the bedroom and the back. Where are we starting today, Matt? We're starting up front here in this front living room. Okay. And I must say, well, installation yeah. factor is at a premium. Right. Because it is warm here today. It is. And it's doing an excellent job conserving the heat in here. So if we did have this running, it would have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. Right. Very tall ceilings, nice ceiling fan. Before I even begin, Will is six foot three. Yeah, I can barely even touch the ceiling. Craziness. It is. Love, love, love the windows. Check out the balances here. We got our daytime shades and our privacy shades. Very nice. Love that feature. Nice lights and everything. And then we have your theater seats right here, which, oh, oh, oh of course it's gonna be electric. Yeah. It's gonna be an electric theater seat looking directly across at the entertainment center. Before, just, goodness gracious, before that, look at this. Nice tri-cushion sofa. Right. You know this comes out and makes a bed. And because we're on a time crunch, because we got to cram, we're not going to put it out. But it does make a bed. It is the pull-out mattress and everything. And let me tell you, I cannot tell you how much I love all these windows around. There's five of them. Right. It is so cool. And then over here is the TV, Insignia TV, fireplace, sound bar, DVD player, everything. I love that. And then check this out. We got storage right there. Nice. And I see, I just got vertigo and I almost threw up in my mouth because <laughs> we started shaking. So I see why they, they would have the eight the point. point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Cause like it made me really dizzy. Did it? Yeah. So, uh, and then over here, okay. There's carpet. You know how we feel about that. But with that said, look at how nice this dinette is. It's big. It's spacious. People have their space. Plenty of room around Plenty it. Plenty of room. Um, USB power. And again, I can't emphasize it enough, guys, these big windows. Oh, yeah. This is the type of unit you take to the beach or you take to the mountains. You buy the permanent site and you leave it there. That's right. Love that. Love that light, Art Deco. No. Even the, Wait, wait, wait. We're independent now. So is that Art Deco? Still not Art Deco. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. And then, um, well, you're going to have the double kitchen area. So, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I'm showing the bar. Okay, I'm showing okay. Bar. Okay. So here's the little bar area. I love this. You can stand up and eat. You can put a bar stool. That's pretty cool. Nice solid surface. You have this this area right here, which is very nice. Nice windows. There's wine racks. I lied. Will, can you open that for <laughs> us? Of course. Nice storage up top. Right there and there. Yes, and then there's a big TV here. This, right. is, like, this is like a bar area. Like you get the game on. You have um your little beer fridge right there little sink yep yep little sink not much Some storage soft closed nice you know what i'm not seeing though what I'm not seeing a beer opener yeah what come on now bar is this still it's still very nice well well do you know what time it is it's, it's now time for, for the, the msrp MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. msrp on this unit here is $86,721.45. Will, that is MSRP. 
we're guests here. And we appreciate Gersenis letting us be here. And this is the World Wide Web, so this video lives on forever. Please contact Gersenis because this price can go up or it could go down. We don't know. We don't work for them. We appreciate them letting us record this unit. So if you guys want to get in contact with somebody from Grazani's, call the number 239-275-4200. You can ask for Patrick, who's our personal friend. You guys saw him in a few videos already. Or you can just call the main number and talk to any of their salespeople here. They're all great guys. They welcome us in. Just make sure to tell them to tell their sales manager that they saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And it doesn't matter if this price is going up or down. They're going to make sure that they take good care of you. That's right. Perfect. Well, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, this I love this kitchen area because it's just all nice and open and everything. Up top here, you got some storage above the fridge. Yes, sir. A little soft close. A nice insignia residential fridge. Very nice. And freezer right okay. there. Okay. A nice big fridge right here. Yes, sir. Coming down the side, you got this pantry. And this pantry's cool because you got some drawers in it. Wow. Keep everything amazing. Stable and all that. Yeah. Got some storage up top. Yes, sir. A nice big insignia. Um, no convection, I don't think. Okay. No but problem. A nice big microwave. And it's really kind of okay, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I love this backsplash. I think that looks really nice. It does. It does. Nice four burner residential insignia cooktop. Yes. And the reason I said you don't really need a convection microwave is because look at this oven. Holy smokes. I mean, that's a residential oven that insignia does. That's it's turkey awesome. tested. And it's turkey approved. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> little slide action going on there and there. And here as well. Very nice. And then look at this nice big island. Mm. Got a nice spray faucet. Yes, sir. I like Stock. that consistent color. Yes. Solid surface countertops, double bowl sink, but I like this setup with the one that's larger. Little spot for your sponges. Okay. Oh, hey now, that's a $104 trash can. That's right. So you got some storage under here. Yes, sir. You got a drawer right there. Look at that, all those remotes. Yeah. And then look at this. Holy, I didn't even see that till just yeah. now. A freaking awesome dishwasher. That? That's amazing. Yeah, this might be the first one on Tobles we've reviewed with a dishwasher in it. Yeah, that's not like a high, high, high end fifth exactly, wheel. Exactly, yep. And I forgot to touch on these lights. Very nice pendant lights and design up on the ceiling there. Pardon me for being rude, guys. I gotta drink my water. It's hot in here. Maybe we should have gone independent starting in Maine or Canada yeah, exactly. before we started in Florida. So, yep, exactly. show us what's going on in there. Did we, oh, we saw we that pantry. That, yep. So show that fridge. We already did. Mm. Well then, I'm losing my freaking mind, everyone. So, we keep it real. It's now time for the shower <laughs> test. Okay. Good, hey, I will say this. Good thing we have this huge sliding door because it is giving us a little bit it of a is. breeze. Yeah. I really like this shower. It's a nice big shower. Plenty of head height, you got wow. the seat. You got a nice, I like this bathroom as a whole. I like all the colors and everything. Yeah. But this shower definitely passes the tall test. Bing! Very nice. Look at this, we got a place for towels and everything. Madison cabinet right here. Okay. Nice Madison cabinet with a mirror. Sink. Storage underneath there. Very nice, very nice. And then right over here, Will, Pour some toilet. I will tell you this. They should have centered it more. Yeah. I am very close. But you went by an inch, you went by a mile. Okay. This is a prime poom position. Bing! Cool. Okay. Finishing up in this bedroom. Wow, look at this. King size bed. Wow. What is look that? Look at that. Is, that. is that like a little AC unit? It looks like it, yeah. Or nice. an air purifier, maybe something like that. Is it a CPAP machine? No. People leave down, I think that's for AC. I that think is so. so cool. I love the cabinetry here. Very big and nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, that's look at, awesome. Look at what they did there. Right. So you can put your cell phones there, or you can even put a CPAP machine up there. Right. You got your USB there, nice side windows. I really like this bed. It's super nice. You want me to get this? Yeah. You got a nice Insignia TV right here. Nice big window. I really like that. Yep. This window does open on the bottom. Nice 
drawers here. Oh, it does lift up. Secret storage. Nice. For all your jewelry and whatnot. And then, um, yeah, four drawers there. Oh, here you go. Okay. Oh, sorry. I gotta hold that for you. Okay. Because it's a lot taller. Got some, like, a huge closet here. Yeah. In here. And then you got a nice spot for a stackable washer and dryer. Stackable. Mmm. And then right here, more closet space. Yes, sir. And then some up top. Storage up top. Yeah, man. And right there. Well, well. That's it. That's the review. Cool. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. Well, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? No. Okay. We're going to do likes because last time we did dislikes. Okay. And then did that. And I'm just really excited to tell you about the likes. All right. First thing I absolutely love about this is the uh, combo. The bathroom size. Yes. That shower, the height. And the head height for people like of Will. Of course, it's if, great. If you are tall, there's most travel trailers you can't fit in, and most fifth wheels you can't fit in. This, you have that nice level height on all levels at all times, which is awesome. That is number one. Number two, Will, it's nine things. Do you know which nine things I'm talking about? I don't. Okay, I was trying to trick you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All these windows are here are absolutely amazing. I'm going to combo that with that sliding glass of door. Of course. It's super awesome, super nice, and I just love what this unit is. These aren't super popular because you have to have a permanent site. Well, you don't have to, but you really, really should. But still, I absolutely love that. So that's number two. And then, well, number three. Number three, I'm gonna say this bar. Yes. I mean, this is totally cool, unlike anything else that we've seen. Yes. Um, even you know, if you're not a TV. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're not a drinker, right. you can appreciate the difference in this oh, travel of trailer. Yeah. And the little sitting area. Everything about this is just really cool. Yeah. Except they're they're missing the beer opener. That's right. Yeah. But uh, we'll we'll let them slide for that. <laughs> Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now okay. it's time for three things we dislike about this uh, travel trailer. Okay. You want to go first or me? Uh, you go first. Okay. Um, two of mine are outside. Okay. Mine's all inside. It's a combo of a lot of little things. Combo okay. it. Combo it. Three little things. Talk to Number me. Number one, and, and I wasn't even going to say this, but this is like kind of more of a permanent um, type trailer yeah. that people will live in. So it's more important than ever to get rid of the carpet, get rid of the floor vents. And then one other thing that just stood out to me. Oh, the floor vents, okay. Yeah. I didn't even notice them. I love these little shelves here. Okay. But I hate this like. What it looks like? Yeah. I don't think Andrea would approve either. Yeah, it just does not fit the feel for the rest. It's okay. like a velvet type okay. material. Okay. Like red velvet shag. Yeah. Okay, if you want to stand outside. Okay. I'm gonna hold this now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I wanna put it back the way we found it. Number two is gonna be these steps. We never okay. like these steps. We never will like these steps. But here's why. You're oh, somewhat okay with combo. it. Combo and crap tires. Yeah. You know, these are the cheapest tires out there. These are the cheapest steps out there. But here's, that's the negative, but here's why it's also okay. Because a lot of people, when they buy this type of unit, they have a patio. So they're right. not using their steps anyway. That's hey, true. hey, hey. Okay, so that's number two. And then number three is- And one. if you had the solid steps, like these you can fold up. Yep, yep. the patios, for yep. the solid steps, you'd have to like take them off. For sure. Sorry, for I didn't sure. mean to interrupt. No, no, you're great. I Trust me. Well, I interrupt you <laughs> eight times more for every one time you interrupt me. So that's number two dislike. Number three dislike is going to be um, just the, the the sheer lack of education. It's going to be a triple combo as well. Sheer lack of education on what this unit is. Um, you know, they're, they're, at the end of the day, there's people that are towing these that don't have training. Of course. And they're going to do it wrong. Uh, with this double slide out, it makes it very it's, heavy tongue it weight. It can be dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Um, so that heavy tongue weight, and then no second awning. Right, you know. of course. It is what it is. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the Cottage by Cedar Creek. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And big shout out to Grzenny's of Fort Myers, Florida. Again, we've linked them down below. 
for letting us show you guys this awesome unit today. If you guys have any questions for me and Will, you can always go to mattsrvreviews.com. And big shout out to all our sponsors. Um, they're, they're the ones that are helping making us independent. We have all our sponsors down below and on our website. Make sure you guys support them so they support us. Uh, Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, like we were saying, this is going to be more of a permanent type uh, travel trailer. Yep, yep. Um, so, you know, if that's something you're interested in, buying property and leaving it or something similar to that, you definitely check this out. I think this is a great unit. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Also, down in the description, you will see a link to our Patreon. Yes. That is such a great way to support us. Yes. We, you know, it's it's a lot of moving pieces trying to go independent and uh you guys supporting us in that way really helps us out a lot making us a true and unbiased rv review all because of you that's right so thank you to everybody who has already joined uh make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching yeah, and will we'll, we'll see you next time, time.